Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Previous lesson we finished our generic repository and today we're going to start our unit of work classes. Let's create our structure. Abstract and concrete. Let's create an interface here for our unit of work. A unit of work all right and let's create our class for unit of work perfect let's make ready for implementation and clear it make it public and inherit from I unit of work perfect Let's create our interfaces first. It's coming automatically. We don't need to do anything. Probably C Sharp Intelligence create our methods and commands automatically. Task commit async. And if you remember previous lesson, I told you that we're going to use our generic repositories via I mean, true to unit of work. Now I'm going to build it. I generic repositories T get generic um, repositories or repository. Um, which name is going to be best? Which name is going to be best? I guess get generic repositories. Let's make a single get generic repository and T value here and it's going to be a class and also if you remember we create our base entity for those methods previously new is there anything that we forget no and also we need a value task dispose async perfect let's go back to the unit of work private read only we need uh, our db context create our constructor inheritance from our part sorry implement interface from our uh, interface context save changes await context save changes and return context dispose async and return new generic repositories t value and context here perfect so now we able to use our generic repository to, to into of work let's collapse them all except those two and let's finish with our configurations and it's going to be ready to use service at scope i unit of work unit of work guys what does that mean why why are we doing this configuration it means if if c sharp detect an I unit of work in any constructor it's going to implement the methods of these classes you understand what I mean the program detects this interface and implement that class methods to this interface that's make the connection we need to add this connection in our program CS file okay 
perfect let's continue uh, let's have a look quickly is there any missing information here I guess not all right let's finish this lesson here the other lesson we're going to start our service layer uh, and take care of yourself for today bye bye guys